long time no see hope you're all doing well so today's video is going to be a lengthy video this is a requested video and I'll say requested because most of my comments are usually people asking about um, things related to this topic or asking about more information on this topic so today I will be talking about the breakdown of your first year engineering courses so if you are going to be in an engineering program or if you're planning to um, study engineering it's important that you kind of get a feel of what you might be getting yourself into so most people are really concerned about what the course load or what the course work is about when they first get into engineering so I decided to make this video and give you a breakdown of your first year engineering courses so let's jump in now just a disclaimer I feel like most first year engineering courses are similar regardless of uh, location regardless of university regardless of uh, whatever program or engineering discipline you decide to choose but what I'm telling you about is closely tailored to um, how the engineering program is in Canada I schooled in Canada I went to Ryerson University most universities in Canada follow the same um, coursework for the for their first year students and um, it's mostly general so even if you're doing aerospace or civil or uh, biomedical you will find that you have to do all these courses in your first year everyone is lumped together in the first year apart from maybe one or two courses and in university um, there are two major semesters the first semester or the fall semester and then the winter semester this may vary depending on when you get enrolled into your program or when you decide to start school or if you decide to take a semester off so I'm gonna break the courses down to you for first semester and second semester which will make up a whole year so for your first semester there are five major engineering courses that you'll be taking introduction to engineering physics mechanics linear algebra calculus 1 and general chemistry now I'm going to go into more detail about these five courses for your first semester just so you can get more understanding of what you might be getting yourself into. So the introduction to engineering course, as the name implies, is an introductory course that would give you more insight on what exactly engineering is about. It will let you have more insight on the different types of engineering because most people go into engineering not being sure about their discipline or which one they really want to go into. So this course kind of gives you more awareness of the different types of engineering that are available, ranging from aerospace to civil, biomedical, chemical, industrial, mechanical, electrical, different types of engineering depending on your location again and your university because some universities don't offer um, certain disciplines of engineering. So that's also something you need to look into if you're trying to pick um, a particular type of engineering to study. Look into what universities offer that. So you get a mini history lesson on engineering, engineering in your uh, region, your province, your school, if you're in America, if you're in Canada, they'll give you the introduction to engineering based on your region and just more understanding about the different principles they uphold in that particular country. They also give you more insights about the safety and credibility aspect of being an engineer, how you are liable to the lives of different people based on what you are producing or what services you have decided to offer as an engineer to the general public. You get more insight about the different types of certifications required for you to qualify as an engineer in your chosen location and also the law abiding principles of being an engineer. So this is also a very serious uh, part of it. Uh, there's a lot of laws governing the engineering body, the engineering um, practice and even in my final year there was a law course I had to take that had a whole breakdown of law for engineers and like what is right, what is wrong. So it's a very serious aspect and they'll touch base on that too in Introduction to Engineering. So the second course is physics mechanics. So this course is very similar to probably what you learned in high school. So you will touch base on familiar things like force, Newton's law, one, two, three of them. Um, you'll learn about motion, basically everything about motion, circular motion, resisting motion, aka friction, projectiles, oscillatory motion, just the different types of motion related to mechanics. And expect a lot of calculation in this course and try and budget enough study time. The third course would be linear algebra. Linear algebra. Best course ever. No, but seriously, linear algebra is similar to the algebra you have done in high school again. So because this is, these are first year courses, they kind of um, 
still infusing a bit of uh, high school topics into this these courses just so you can get a feel of um, a more advanced application and you'll also be learning new things that you might not have been familiar with mostly things that you've been familiar with honestly so you'll see in matrices linear transform and basically other math theories that govern linear systems as the name implies linear algebra so this is a math course there'll be a lot of calculation and I don't think you are allowed to use calculators in this course and maybe that was just my university but we didn't use calculators so expect that but if you take the time out to study and practice and practice this course will be smooth sailing the fourth course would be general chemistry now for my chemical engineers out there this is going to be one out of roughly three chemical or sorry chemistry courses that you will be taking in university I know most people say chemical engineering so you're thinking oh well, there will be a lot of chemistry not necessarily there will be a lot of um, courses related to applying your knowledge of chemistry not really but just understanding chemicals like how chemicals pass through this um, system how chemicals do that mass balance energy balance but not necessarily chemistry so have no fear and also for other engineers i think it's the same thing that you would hardly come across a very intense intense chemistry course apart from this one and another one that i would mention in my next video so this is chemistry that i'm sure you're familiar with if you are coming in to do engineering and you're coming from high school i'm guessing you've probably done um chemistry in high school so this is very closely related to that kind of chemistry so you get a feel of the whole acid basis ph reactivity basically normal chemistry which is um observing physical and chemical states of different types of matter you learn a lot about inorganic chemistry as well and um yeah you would however need to practice a lot in this course because it's very voluminous honestly all engineering courses will require your time but chemistry is a course where i find that most people need to really cram and um transtor in that information in their heads like compress it because it's a lot of information so expect that the fifth course for your first semester of your first engineering year is calculus one there's gonna be calculus 2 and there's gonna be other math courses but this is calculus 1 now I love math which is why my parents thought it was a good idea to urge me to study engineering but I found this course very challenging I don't even know why I feel like maybe I just didn't budget enough time to practice but I found it challenging that I ended up dropping the course and taking it in the summer because I just I just got so scared I think it was the whole mass failure thing a lot of us didn't do well during the uh, midterm so we all just dropped the course and waited to do it in the summertime. Won't make a difference except you study. So calculus is another math course. This will require a lot of practice and you'll see it in the way they'll schedule the class. You'll have the calculus classes and you'll have the calculus, um, I'll say revision classes. This is not with the prof, this is like the TA where you can actually just solve problems with the TA and uh, yeah. So they budget those two classes because they know that you need more time to practice and practice and practice and never stop practicing this course is a lot of a lot of math solving so make sure you put in the work expect equations differentiation linear functions etc expect all those fun stuff now we are in second semester the second semester of your first year so again there'll be five courses you'll be taking in your second semester and these are general chemistry lab so this will be a practical class digital computations and programming physics ways and fields calculus 2 and your fifth course would be a course related to your discipline so my fifth course was fundamentals of chemical engineering so your fifth course may vary based on your discipline so this is where everyone breaks off and the whole huge chunk of engineers start getting into their discipline so for the first course of your second semester general chemistry lab this is a practical class for the previous course you took in your first semester which is a uh, the chemistry course general chemistry course so you'll be performing different lab experiments during this course. You'll have a lab partner. You'll have to wear a lab coat. You have to wear your you'll have to wear your eye protective glasses. You'll have to read 
experiment procedures and follow them and basically this course will give you a good idea of good lab practice and also learning how to work with people so you have a lab partner to work with so that will be a good experience. You'll also have follow-up assignments so after you perform the experiments you have to go back and then um, solve different uh, questions based on your findings during the experiment. So that's basically what that course is about. The second course is going to be digital computations and programming. As the name implies, this is a programming course and this was my most dreadful course throughout my stay. One of them actually. If not actually my most dreadful course. I did not have any prior knowledge of programming before I got into this. So that was my first introduction to programming and programming if anyone knows the very detailed skill. You have to have some knowledge before just jumping into um, doing that. And most people had already done that in high school. I came from, I did most of my high school in Nigeria. So coming from Nigeria, they don't do programming over there in high school. So I had no knowledge of what was going on and me trying to catch up and learn was pretty tough. So that course wasn't that great, but I scaled through so you can do it too. So now that I'm giving you this tip, check if the university you're going to offers programming in your first year and try and be proactive and just look into the basic principles of programming or the basic uh, programming skills. It's usually C, they teach in introductory programming courses in the university. So just look into that. So the third course is going to be physics, waves and fields. This course will introduce you to the different types of force fields. So gravitational fields, magnetic fields. I'm not sure if there was electrical fields on there as well, but gravitational and um, magnetic fields. You'll learn a lot about SHM, simple harmonic motion. So it's mostly, think about the pendulum. You probably learned that in uh, physics, high school physics. So there's the pendulum motion, um, resonance, waves. You'll also be introduced to different types of energy. I'm sure potential energy, kinetic energy. Yeah. All those different types of energy so it's a physics course but it'll be going more in depth about things related to waves and fields so the fourth course is calculus 2 so this is a follow-up of calculus 1 that you did in your first semester so calculus 2 is going to go more in depth into integration because calculus 1 you learned about differentiation calculus 2 is going to introduce you to integration so that's the anti or anti derivative anti-differentiation so it's going to introduce you to that it's also going to introduce you to different um, series and sequences power series and um, basically first order differentials partial derivatives and basically different a variety of math related to differentials and all that fun stuff so this is another math course that will require your time integration and differentiation normally requires time for you to go about it because they're lengthy calculations. So expect lengthy work and expect lengthy study hours. So my fifth course, this one's for the chemical engineers. This was chemical engineering fundamentals. So this course would introduce you into different phases of chemicals, um, phases or states. Um, it will introduce you to equilibrium. It will introduce you to mass balance which is key for chemical engineering and energy balance as well. And obviously you'll get a fundamental of chemical engineering principles and basically um, big theories that are very, very strongly related to us. So those are the 10 courses to expect in your first year of engineering. I hope this video was super helpful to those people out there who were curious about what they were, go what they were going to be doing during their first year of engineering. And I hope it gives you more insight as well as to whether or not you want to do this. Most people have been asking for this, so I hope this video is super useful for you. I plan on doing a continuous series, so this is first year. I plan on doing second year, third year, fourth year, and if I had the resources, I want to bring more people from different engineering disciplines to also break it down for you guys. I started an engineering blog about things related to engineering education and basically lifestyle tips on being successful and moving your head. And it's called My Engineering Perspective. Com. So you can check it out and get some inspiration from there and also learn more about um, different things that I might talk about there. I find that when I'm writing, there's different things that come to mind versus when I'm speaking. You can check out that website and see if you find something interesting there. So let me know what other questions you have about engineering in the comment section below. I love to get your feedback. I love to see aspiring engineers or aspiring um People in uh, STEM, science, technology, engineering, math is just a very exciting thing. So leave your comments down below for questions that you have for me. And I will respond to them immediately. 
Thank you. See you guys next time. Bye.